Jean Ruth Ritchie was raised in the small community of Viper, the youngest of 14 children. It, looking back on it now, it was a sort of a golden time. Ritchie and her family sang as they worked to keep food on the table. Uh, we all hoed in the cornfield um, and uh, just did what work there had to be done in order to make food for and make life livable. Richie's father played the dulcimer and finally allowed her to play his instrument when she was about seven years old. So he set me down and I picked out Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody the old boy goose is dead. And he said, why, Abby, we got us a musician here. <laughs> Abby is Jean's mother, shown here at a family gathering around Christmas in 1955. After leaving Viper, Richie attended Cumberland College and then the University of Kentucky, becoming the first graduate of the university's social work program. She then moved to New York City to work at the Henry Street Settlement. But I met George and uh, we got married, and that was the end of my social work career. <laughs> Richie's husband, photographer and filmmaker George Pico, is now 86, but still travels with her. By 1952, two years after they married, Richie's first solo recording was released. She's credited by many as a pioneer in the American folk music revival. Her songs, like the Ellen N. Don't Stop Here Anymore, have been recorded by artists like Johnny Cash. I was born and raised in the mouth of the hazard holler. Cold cars ramble past my door. And most recently, Kathy Matea on her new album called Cole. But some may not know Richie wrote those early songs because another name, Than Hall, is listed as the writer. She took that name from her grandfather, and Richie believed her songs, particularly about coal mining, might have more success if people thought a man wrote them. She remembers one instance when a man didn't realize he was actually talking to Than Hall about a specific song. And he said, well, I have a friend that heard Than Hall sing it personally. <laughs> I said, that excuse won't do because I'm, I am Than Hall, you know, so I had to explain the whole thing to him. Richie has recorded more than 35 albums, won the 1977 Rolling Stone Critics Award, and written a number of books, including the acclaimed Singing Family of the Cumberlands. Eastern Kentucky author Silas House considers Richie one of his role models. She sort of epitomizes everything that's good about us as a people and our culture. House introduced Richie at Union College's graduation ceremony earlier this month. Richie received an honorary degree and sang two songs. The first one was for the children. The second song was one of Richie's favorites about the Lord returning to earth in the cool of the day. And he walks in his garden in the cool of the day. Amen. It's just an amazing song. It's right up there with the best hymns that, that we've ever had in this country. Richie still lives in Port Washington, New York, and at age 85 doesn't get home as much as she used to. However, she still performs occasionally around the country. I don't sing as, as clearly as I used to, but people are kind and they won't, still want me to come. Richie says she hopes people will remember her simply as a person who did some good in the world. I want to be remembered as a friendly person to a lot of people and um, somebody who brought a little bit of the old music and saved a little bit of it, helped preserve it.